Hi babes, it's me, Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella. Welcome to my channel where I bring you lips, lashes, and luxury. If you are new and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload. For all those returning, again, welcome back. So, today I decided for January favorites, we're gonna go back to what we used to do, which is try them on as I'm talking about the products. And so you get a feel for how I like the product, how I use the product, and why I really enjoy the product. So, without further delay, let's get to it. Brown Girl Bella. this tutorial and this favorites video by talking about new by E Saint Laurent I love this primer it can go with any foundation that I put on and it really just acts like a good base for not only my skin to give it a luminous glow, but also for any of the foundation that I use it with. I use it with liquids, I use it with sticks, and actually today I'm gonna use both a liquid foundation and a stick foundation with this product. And no, they're not new by E. Saint Laurent. So the first thing I'm going to use is an oldie but goodie. As you know, I'm trying to shop my stash in 22. So I have my Tom Ford. This is the Traceless Foundation Stick and I have it in 9.5 Warm Almond. As you all know, I'm always some kind of nut. If there's a walnut or an almond or a chestnut, I'm it. I'm your girl. <laughs> so this is Warm Almond and I like to use this around the outer parts of my skin. And then in the center, I like to go in with Lisa Eldridge's Seamless Skin Foundation. I'll use a like half a dot around the face. And so with these two products, I will then blend them into the skin using my Sonia G brush. And this is the Jumbo Base. I love this product. And I love this brush. This brush really helps me to like make quick work of my foundation. It blends it in seamlessly and I have no streaks or fine lines when I am using this product. And as you can see, I blend both products in together to give a nice base to the skin. Next, we're gonna go in with concealer. And the concealer that I love this month was the Mother Pat. This is MD22. And I love this because, again, it gives me coverage and the color also gives me a little brightness underneath the eye, which helps lift the skin and make me look like I'm refreshed and well rested, even if I've had only three hours of sleep. My favorite brush for this product, which is another Sonia G, this is the Soft Concealer, which really helps to soften the edges around the concealer and help blend it in really nicely. And again, I don't have to do a lot of work with this. Look at those under eyes. 
Mm-hmm. I know y'all see it. Next, I like to go in with my Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder. This is in the shade Yellow, which is my new love. If you've been watching my show for any length of time, you know I loved when Pat first came out with this product. I used the medium powder all the time, endlessly. And then when I finished with it, she came out with this product. And again, I fell in love. It helps to curve away any creasing underneath my eye. It also helps with the brightness. And again, you just dab it, pat it in, and then just softly blend with the side of the concealer brush. That's it. I love products that make my job very, very easy. Even if I have to spend a little bit of coin to make it so, I love this product because it makes me look flawless and I don't have to worry about working the product in and spending a lot of time blending. The other product I love is her setting powder, which I'm using right now. This is in the shade medium. And for this, I'm using the Sonia G Sky Eye Set Smooth Buffer. I also like to use this with powder bronzer as well. So when we get to that step, I'm also gonna be using this brush for that. Okay, I'm back and now let's get into the eyes. So to prime my eyes, I use the Hourglass Bale Eye Primer and a little dab goes a long way. I only use just a little bit. So I'm going to squeeze out just one dot and I use that for both eyes. So I just dot on one eye and dot on the other eye. And that's it. Then with a synthetic brush, I'll go in and I will blend that out. Which leads me to the palette of the month. This month, I've been like circulating a lot of my palettes, but the one I keep going back to is one by Mother Pat. This was her last year's mega palette. This is Celestial Odyssey. And I love all of the colors in this palette. I'm going to show you again. Here are what they all look like. I think this was excellently done and curated. I like this one, dare I say it, even more than last year's 2020 palette. I like 2021's palette better than 2020's palette. There, I said it. And it takes a lot for me to say that because I did and I do love the Celestial Divinity. But Celestial Odyssey, there's just something about the colors in here that really just make my heart sing. So I'm going to start off with the brown shade, like a taupey brown shade. And I'm going to put that in the crease. This is in the Michelle Wong and Isam partnership that she did last year. And I'm so glad I got it because when she first released it, I was not able to grab it. But when they re-released it, I was all over it. I jumped on it. This brush is called the B33. Slamming. If you want a brush that helps you to just blend in the color 
without having to like really work at it this is your brush this is a workhorse brush for you it does all of the heavy lifting all you have to do is just either windshield wipe it back and forth like so or you can do circular motions like I do either way it's going to blend in very nicely and give you a nice starting canvas for your look there you are flawless I love it like chocolatey taupey color right here and I'm going to add that to the mix using the same brush just dust it over and I'm going to concentrate that on the back half of the eye and bring it like a quarter of the way in and then I'm going over to the other side with a deeper chocolate and I'm just going to put that right in the lower V. Using the Isom V09, I'm going to use that same color again, dipping my brush in and I'm going to do the lower lash line using that same color and blending it to what I did at the top and then using my other favorite brush also by Sonia G this is the Lotus set and this brush is called the builder and we're gonna go into that taupey silvery shade and we're gonna put that all over the lid Again, using that V09 brushed off, I'm going to dip it in to this shade right here for the inner corner and upper brow bone. The brow bone. Followed by my favorite mascara, Mother Pet's Dark Star. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade number three, deep. For blush, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. I really like the cheek product in here as well as the highlighter. I think it is very pretty, certainly very Valentine friendly. And it's good for work as well because it's not too bold and in your face, but it is pigmented enough that it will show up on deep skin like mine. For highlight, I'm going to use the other part of the Rose Cheek Duo right here to just add a little highlight to the skin. Well, a lot of highlight. You know how I do. You guys know I usually do my eyebrows first, but in this case, I'm going to do my eyebrows last. I'm using my oldie but goodie, the Benefit full proof brow powder guys I love this powder again with all of the new things that's come out I got distracted from this but this month I have been picking this up again and I have been loving it it also takes the guesswork out of what powder goes where because it literally is an eyebrow with the powder 
that you need to put in both the front section and the back section. So it takes the guesswork out of what goes where. That's why they call it foolproof. You can't go wrong. I'm like, where has this product been on my life? It's been on my dresser this entire time and I have not picked it up. But now, I'm using it all the time and it's definitely been a favorite of mine for the month of January. Last but not least, I want to get to the lips and this lip gloss has been one of my two faves for the month of January. This is Honeyed Coral by Tom Ford. I'm going to start by just lining my lips with a MAC pencil in Night Moth. And there we have the finished look with all of my makeup favorites. Now, let's get to some other favorites that I loved as well. Starting with what I loved for my hair. This product here I got gratis from my job at Beauty Tap, but I cannot put this thing down. It is so good for my hair. It's called the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair hair mask. So you basically put this in as a last step after you've shampooed your hair and conditioned it. Don't put any leave-in conditioner in it. This mask does the work for you. And I put this through my hair. I don't, as I said, don't condition it, but put it on, let it sit for four minutes to activate, but don't rinse it out. Leave it in your hair you will find that your hair will become very strong, very healthy, very shiny, and incredibly soft and silky. I love it. I use it all the time, especially when I'm doing my wash and goes. Um, I'm not using it now, of course, because my hair is twisted, but I definitely will be going back to it soon as I take these out. I love it. The other product I have been loving for my natural hair is this one by Mayel. This is the pomegranate and honey curl smoothing. It is um, for thick hair. My hair is not actually that thick, believe it or not, but it is like a 3B, 4-ish kind of hair texture. And this is perfect for that hair type. It gives me curl definition. It gives me shine. It has a great smell like pomegranate and honey doesn't have a great smell. Oh, so good. You will love it. And you can find it at your drugstore or at Walmart. Get it. You'll love it. You all know I am a candle nista. And this candle is by Forever Mood, which is Jackie Ina's company. This candle that I've been burning mostly all of January. I've been burning some of her other ones as well, but this one has been a staple for most of January. This is called Grown Folks Business. Now, you know when this candle is up, hmm. Don't mind my business, honey. Mind your own. That's all I'm saying. When the candle is lit, you know it's time to get lit. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> However, if you like the candle, go check it out at Forever Mood. So that's it, my babes. That is all of my monthly favorites for the month of January. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, give me that big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and take care of that business. Hit that subscribe button and then don't forget to 
tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. And until we meet again, you have now been bellified.